Welcome back once again. Today I'm going to talk about the involution rule, uh, which is really, really, really trivial. So the involution rule. What does it mean? Well, um, as soon as I'm going to actually write it, you're going to see that it's really trivial. So if you have a with a double knot, then it's going to be equal to a. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking like, yeah, we all know that. Uh, but I didn't actually tell you that it was called the involution rule. Uh, so uh, in a general form, it basically means that uh, if you have an even number of not gate, then the output is just going to be like the input. So if you have an even number of not gates, so like this, and you have a as an input, then you, here you're going to have a not, you're going to have a double knot, which is essentially a, and it's pretty much the same. Uh, please notice that when I do this, um, every time I use an odd gate, I'm going to introduce delay, uh, which was basically the thing that uh, led to the creation of uh, latches um, when I first have been talking about them. So yeah, um, as a quick reminder for what we what I've been talking about already. So yeah, basically just remember that uh, involution rules basically means that as long as you're gonna have an even number of not gates, um, then the output is just gonna be like the input. It's just gonna be delayed. So keep in mind that it's gonna be delayed, uh, but in from the Boolean algebra perspective, uh, if, in a, not in the real world, but in, uh, in the ideal world, then uh, the input is just going to be like the output. 